Well, hey, everybody, it's Pastor Wes, and thank you so much for joining us for our three-minute devotion that we are putting out on our YouTube and Facebook channels, and so we pray that these are encouraging to you because we all need a little pick-me-up in the middle of the day, and I want to talk to you today about Paul and Silas in Acts. Are you worried about something today? You got something on your mind that's really causing you to think about some things and go into places maybe you don't need to go, maybe even into a saddened state or depressed state? I want to bring you to Acts chapter 16 where Paul and Silas are imprisoned and they're in a dark place. The Bible says it's about midnight. Isn't it something how our lives and later it gets at night, the darker that seems to get? And maybe you're listening to this at night. Whenever you listen to this, I want you to hear this word that the Bible says in Acts chapter 15 verses 25. I always call them Peter and John, so forgive me, but it's, it's Paul and Silas. And around midnight it says in verse 25, Paul and Silas were praying and they were singing hymns. Maybe that's what you need to do at midnight of God. And these other prisoners were listening. So they're sitting in prison and they're singing hymns. And suddenly in the midst of their singing, there was an earthquake and the prison was shaken to its foundation. All the doors immediately flew open and every prisoner was set free. My word for you today is maybe the prison that you're in, the key to it is worship. You see, when we worry, worship can exist. But when we worship, Worry can't exist. It's kind of like light and darkness. The two can't go together. They don't exist together. Worry and worship don't exist together. In fact, I would even say that there is no such thing as darkness. There's just absence of light. And I know worry's natural, but I would say to you, there really isn't a thing called worry. There's just an absence of worship, if that makes sense. And so the reason we're worried is because we don't have worship in our life. And the reason we don't worship is because we've got worry in our life. Worry does not work. The Bible says, what can you add to your life by worrying? Nothing. You can't add it height. You can't get taller from worrying. You, 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 you can get bigger probably. You can get more. You, you, can't, you can't get richer by worrying. You can't make the day better by worrying or faster. You can't do anything. But if you worship, when we worship the Lord, everything changes. When we choose to say, God is in control and I'm going to trust Him. So let me say this to you. Why don't we work and not worry? Because worry don't work. Let's choose to do what God tells us to do and trust Him with what we can't do and then worship through it all. Maybe today you're in a place. Maybe you're in a difficult place. Maybe you've had a broken relationship. Maybe you've had a sickness that's come upon you or a family member. Maybe you are having a, a career decision that you need to make or a career path that's not going well. Maybe you're in a situation right now where you really feel like you can't see any way out. Maybe your way out is worship. Maybe it's singing hymns and praise to the Lord to get to be set free. And today, I want to pray that over you as we close today. So pray with me. I want to pray worship over you over worry. Father, I pray over every person listening to this that they would choose worship over worry, that worry would not exist because they choose an attitude of worship. In Jesus' name, amen. Pray you have a blessed day.